All right, here are two tips for working with web designs in Photoshop and using the slice tools because we tend to use these quite a bit in here if you do web design. So in order to, let's say, cut out this header up here, this image, we can either go over to the slice tools, which are under our crop tool, and try and click and drag and manage to cut this out, or you can create what's called a layer-based slice. I love this. Come to the Move tool, make sure the Auto Select Layer is turned on, or selected rather, click on something like part of the layer, and you'll see it selects the layer over here in the Layers panel. I can turn it on and off to show you. Now with the layer selected, if you come up to Layer, you'll choose New Layer Base Slice. Now we can assign a shortcut to that if you want to. If you go to Edit Keyboard Shortcuts in Photoshop, you can assign one. But if I choose that, it'll automatically make a slice that's exactly the size of the content on the layer. Now, what's cool about this is you can change what's on the layer and it'll automatically change the, the slice size. So let's suppose I go to either, you know, paint or something, I go to brush or whatever, you'll see the slice automatically update. Okay, now that was on that layer. If you transform this content or do anything else, it'll also update. Let me undo that, that looks stupid. So if I go back to the move tool, what's really cool is you can also, right now, you can't edit this thing. Okay, it's just based on the, the content of the layer, but if you want to, you can edit it. So if you go back to the slice tool over here and go under and go to the slice select tool, I can't say that, click on the slice, you'll see it's actually a, um, a different kind of slice. What we can do is we can promote it. So if you look right here, you'll see a button called promote. That'll promote it, it's an automatic slice to a layer-based slice, uh, to a user slice. So if I click on that, You'll see that it's no longer a layer slice. I can then go out and start to change it, edit, do whatever I need to do to get this to look the way I want it to. Now, another quick tip for you for being able to export text. I'll actually do that um, right now. What you can do is, let's say I do the same thing. I go select this text right here, go up to layer, choose new layer base slice. You'll see it cuts out whatever's on the layer out there. I want to edit it, so I'll go over to the slice select tool, promote it. There we go, and I'll go change it a little bit. So I'll just make it like, let's say this paragraph right here. Now what you can do is if you go to export this, you're gonna know, you know that this is gonna be a picture, right? Well, we can turn it into text if you export a web page by going to File, Save for Web and Devices. Here's how you do that. So if you go over to the layer with the text on it, double click on the T, that'll select the text. Go ahead and copy, so edit copy. Now to stop typing, you can hit Control Return or Command Return and that says, okay, we're done. Now I want to, I saw that the text went down to here, so I'm going to change the slice to be this big. If you come to the slice with the slice select tool, I hate saying that, and if you right click on it, you can see edit slice options. If you come up top, you'll see slice type, no image, and then we just paste what we've got in there. You can actually put HTML tags in here if you want to. So I can put like P tags or, you know, anything like that if I want to try and do things like that, if you know HTML. So I'll come down here and put a P tag. That way, if we export this, if I click OK, we export this as HTML, this is going to be basically just a div with text in it. It's going to lose the formatting of the text, but that's fine. At least we get text. So anyway, just a couple quick tips for working with slicing when you work in Adobe Photoshop.